Italy's economy shrank by 0.2%, mirroring the contraction from the Eurozone as the debt crisis spirals on. The governor of the country's central bank said the way out of recession won't be easy nor painless, but joining me down the line to give his perspective is Paolo Pizzoli, senior economist with ING. Now, Paolo, the contraction was less than economists forecast in the quarter through September, as the country's fourth recession since 2001 entered its second year. But what is your take on the Italian economy at present? I think that the numbers were indeed better than expected. I myself expected a contraction in the likes of 0.5%. Uh, I think, though, that uh, uh, perspectives are not that good in that uh, uh, what we will see likely over the next few months is a, a rerun of weakness in industrial production and uh, uh, a deterioration in the demand conditions, both domestically and externally, which uh, will likely uh, bring back uh, the Italian economy into deeper recession. Uh, what I'm currently expecting for the fourth quarter is uh, another contraction in the likes of 0.3, 0.4%. The Italian contraction contrasted with signs of recovery in Germany and France, but what are the main factors setting Europe's two largest economies apart from Italy? Let's say that uh, Italy is engaged in a very ambitious uh, fiscal adjustment, which is the main reason why uh, domestic demand is suffering. Uh, what we are witnessing these days is that uh, Italy is at succeeding in, uh, let's say, obtaining a primary surplus above 2.5% of GDP. Uh, and by this standard, Italy is proving a very strong uh, Eurozone performer. Uh, this is not the case for, uh, let's say, France and Germany, for different reasons. Another uh, difference uh, uh, lies uh, with the fact that, uh, uh, for at, le- at least for the German case, uh, uh, in Germany, uh, only a third of German exports are directed to uh, Eurozone countries. That's uh, not the case for Italy, for where let's say uh, nearly half of, of exports go there. So uh, we are more exposed uh, than Germany is to the vagaries of the Euro- Eurozone cycle. And what do you think needs to happen to reignite Italy's growth engine? Well, and that's a difficult one. Um, I think that uh, uh, the right way to run is to go on with the structural reforms, uh, uh, which, uh, let's say, encompass uh, labour market reform, will uh, have to affect, uh, uh, l- let's say, the current inefficiency in the uh, bu- bu- in Italian bureaucracy and the Italian public administration. Once that is uh, tackled, I think that uh, with the uh, uh, cumulative effects of the of reforms which the current uh, Monti government uh, has, has launched, I think that in the medium term, uh, the Italian economy will have the chance to recover uh, uh, somewhat. I'm not saying that uh, it will be able to, let's say, improve the potential growth uh, fast, but I think that over a couple of years uh, it should be possible to get back to growth uh, to around 1%. With export gains failing to offset the effect of weak domestic demand, the Euro region's third biggest economy will contract 2.3% this year and won't start recovering until the second half of 2013, according to some experts. Is that in line with your forecasts? What are you expecting from Italy moving forward? Yes, indeed, it's uh, quite in line with my my own forecast. Uh, I think that uh, uh, Italy will not be able to post uh, uh, quarterly growth until uh, at least the second quarter of 2013, uh, and that's uh, just because of the, let's say, uh, prolonged weakness in domestic demand, which is connected to the fiscal drag, and uh, to some uh, further weakness in external demand uh, related to the uh, slowing down uh, of uh, economic growth in the main uh, Eurozone partners. And what uh, will, uh, let's say, reverse the the cycle uh, thereafter? I think that uh, once, uh, let's say, uh, the international backdrop will will be improving, uh, Italian exports will will be able to take advantage of that. And on the other hand, uh, towards the end of next year, it is likely that the fiscal drag will uh, will be, will be reduced uh, with respect to 2012, 
and uh, uh, fiscal policy will become neutral starting 2014 by when I expect the uh, GDP to grow by around 1%, 0.91%. Paolo, thank you for your insights. Well, that's all we have time for at the moment, but join me tomorrow for a wrap-up of all the economical and political news from this trading week. Bye for now.